Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a highly requested recipe with you guys, and this one is perfect for the summer season that is upon us. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my grandmother's recipe for her ice block or custard block. Now for any of you guys who don't know what this is, it's basically a sweet milky treat, almost like a milk popsicle, and it is something that Guyanese people make. Trini people have their own versions of this, and I'm sure the other Caribbean countries have their own versions of these as well. I want to give a big shout out to Andrew over at Bidesi Imports for sponsoring this video by sending me all of the ingredients needed to put it together. If you want to purchase any of the milks, the spices, or just anything I put into this ice block, then you head over to buyeasy.com where all of your West Indian products or pantry stables will be sent right to your door. Making the ice block only requires a few simple ingredients. So in my heavy saucepan, I'm going to go in with some water. And then on top of that, I'm going to go in with my evaporated milk. Once you add it in your condensed milk, you're also going to go in with some mixed essence. Now you can use any other type of essence or extract that you want. Um, sometimes I'll do this with vanilla extract or anything that I have on hand at the moment. And once you go in with that, you're going to go in with some condensed milk. Now some people, they do not use condensed milk, they will just use sugar. My grandmother said that condensed milk will give you the best results though because it gives for a creamier texture and just a better overall taste. And I know some people use a combo of condensed milk and sugar, which is just way too sweet in my opinion. But go ahead and play around with it however you want to. And once you add this in, you're going to mix it up just a bit. Now once you mix all of those wet ingredients together, you're going to go in with some fresh nutmeg. Now I recommend that you use the fresh stuff because if you use the already powdered nutmeg, it tends to not have a pungent and fresh flavor like the fresh one would have. So once you add this in, you're gonna also going to go ahead and add in a little pinch of salt, which I did not get a video of, but you're going to add in a little pinch of salt, stir everything together, and you're going to bring it up to a simmer. Now you don't want to bring this to a rolling boil, you just want to bring it up to a small simmer where it's smoking. And once your mixture starts to simmer a little bit, and just before it comes up to a boil, you want to turn off that stove and you want to set this mixture aside while we work on the custard powder slurry that we're going to add in. The custard powder is what's going to give the ice block or the custard block that rich and creamy texture. So I took my mixture with all of those wet liquids off the stove, I set it to the side, and in my bowl here I have some custard powder, and now I'm spooning on a few tablespoons of that hot liquid that we just finished cooking on the stove. Now basically what we're trying to do here is to work it in with the custard powder and get rid of any lumps before we add it into the pot. If you were to just add it into the pot, especially while it's on the heat, what's going to happen is that custard powder will immediately start to clump up and you will have little mini lumps in your ice block or your custard block. And trust me, it is not enjoyable at all when you taste that. So just keep on whisking it, whisking it until you get a very smooth mixture and then we can add it into the pot. Once you've mixed the custard powder with some of the hot liquid and you make sure that there's no lumps in that slurry, you're going to go ahead and add it into the rest of the mixture that's in the pot. Now remember, this is no longer on the stove, we're no longer cooking it, because if you were to cook this mixture, it tends to get very lumpy and start to get thick, and that is not what we want. So I'm going to whisk it in really well, and I'm going to allow this to cool to about room temperature before I put them in my molds to put in the freezer. Remember, you never want to put any hot liquids or anything like that in the fridge, or the freezer because it can tend to spoil. All right, everyone, so the mixture has cooled really, really well. It's come up to room temperature, and that's the time that we're gonna go ahead and put it in these ice molds or whatever molds that you wanna put them in. So I have some popsicle molds. You can easily find these at your local grocery stores, Publix, Walmart, um, Target, or even the dollar store tends to have these, and they work perfectly. But if you wanted to, you could use ice cube trays. You could even put it in one large tray and then cut the pieces up when they come out of the freezer. That's the way that my grandmother does it, um, or she uses the ice cube trays. I just thought since I had the popsicle um, molds that I would put them in here, and they worked out really well, and everybody gets one, and they're happy with that. So once you go ahead and fill them up to as much as you want, you're going to put the popsicle molds on, and then you can pop them in your freezer, and you let them sit in the freezer for about six hours or more, or just until they are fully firmed up. Now, I did want to mention that I... Put the mixture in a measuring cup so it would be easier to pour in my molds and I wouldn't make a mess. So I have just about a little bit of my mixture left. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a little Tupperware dish and this will make one large one. I could cut it into small pieces or a few people could share from this. But regardless, I just wanted to put it in this to show you guys that you could put it in whatever molds you want 
and whatever you have at home. So the trick with the ice block when it comes out of the freezer is to go ahead and run the bottoms under some hot or warm water so this way they can get loosened up just a bit and then if you have the popsicle molds like me you want to just go ahead and turn them a bit so this way you can loosen the ice block within the mold and once you loosen it up a bit they should come out just as easy as this. Now I'm going to be honest sometimes the popsicle molds tend to be a little hard to work with and they don't come out in one piece it's totally fine just grab a spoon and eat that ice block as it is as you guys can see it is well formed it looks super delicious and it was so creamy so sweet and that nutmeg was just the perfect amount of flavor that I needed in the ice block now if you wanted to you could go ahead and play around with any types of spices or flavorings um, my other grandmother my dad's mom she tends to put mango pulp in her sometimes just to give it an added flavor so you can play around with a whole bunch of different flavors that you want but other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe it's been requested so many times by all of you guys so I hope I delivered a great one get in your kitchens try this out and you won't be disappointed if you want any of these ingredients I use all of my ingredients today from buyeasy.com if you head on over there you can get all of your West Indian products or any pantry staples and they'll be shipped right to your door in a time like this I know it is good to have things that can just be shipped to us where we don't have to go to the store so if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye, everyone.